God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the promise of God. God's promise is, if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. We are in 2020, a new year. And Jesus said ye must be born again. So in the new year, why don't you get the new birth? And begin 2020 with your eyes set to God. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. You cannot get to heaven without Jesus Christ, and you cannot get to heaven by going to church, by taking part in religious activities. <clears throat> You can't get to heaven by doing charity. And you cannot get to heaven by doing good. The Bible says it's impossible. When Jesus Christ has done what appeased God, what God is satisfied in, there is no other remedy. There is no other source of getting you to glory. You get to heaven by Jesus Christ or you go to hell. That's it. Well, preacher, I'm a member of a church, and you'll be a member of hell. Hell is full of churchgoers. And hell is full of people who didn't go to church. That would be an unlikely congregation to be in a place where no one went to church when you went to church. Church does not save you. As a Christian church, supposedly, is to help grow you, but it don't save you. In order to be saved, the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's believing by faith. And nothing doing. Jesus Christ done what already was needed to be done. The Bible tells Christians, whether they're called to preach or not called to preach, the Bible tells us to go in all the world and preach the gospel. It doesn't say, please come to my church. Will you come to my fellowship at my church? It don't say that. It says, Christian, go in all the world and preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's not going to church. That's not you being good enough. You're going to die. The wages of sin is death. You ain't coming out of that grave to God since for the resurrection. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and he arose himself by the power of God, for he is God. Go check the cemetery. They're still dead. They're still buried. They're still in the vaults. Go check the grave of Jesus. It's empty. For
for Jesus Christ. Over 450 people witnessed the resurrected Jesus in a bodily form. That walked through the door, that ate with the disciples, that preached and taught them, and then extended to the right hand of the Father, and there he is today, waiting for God to say, go get your church. And when the rapture happens, buildings ain't going to disappear. Christians are going to disappear. And your church building may be used for the honor and glory of the Antichrist when we're gone. Think about that. That lovely, great church you have may be a tool of the Antichrist. Baptism. Baptism is not going to save you. <clears throat> like church, there's many denominations of baptism. You say, preacher, what are you talking about? There's salt water, there's fresh water. There's city water, there's imported water. There's cold water, there's hot water. Which water saves? I'll tell you which saves. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ takes away our sin. The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of of the world. That simple. You want to go to heaven, you've got to come through the door, and the door is Jesus Christ. In Revelation chapter 3, Jesus is knocking on the church's door and said, anybody who will come out, I will sup with him in this latter end church age period called Laodicea. Yeah, the devil's got you fooled to believe anything and everything but Jesus Christ. And the Apostle Paul has told us, beware because there's another Jesus out there. There's a Jesus of the charismatic movement who will do circus tricks and magic tricks for you. And that charismatic Jesus is the Jesus of the devil. But we have signs, we have healing. You got healing? Come with me to the hospital up the street and we'll see your healing. Impossible. I don't know how many beds are in the hospital, but if you believe in the power of healing, come with me and we'll go prove it. And even the disciples, the apostles of Jesus, proved them. And the book of Revelation said, found them to be liars. What about a Catholic Jesus? We're going to eat Jesus. That's cannibalism. You would make fun of a man in the darkest Africa for chopping up a human being and eating him, and that's what you do at your mass. You eat a man named Jesus. That's another Jesus. That Jesus cannot save your soul. Cannibalism. That's also found in Revelation chapter 12 when the, the Antichrist is going to eat Jewish people in the tribulation period. He's just getting you ready. Hey, Eddie, you got to clean up all the iceberg. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You, according to the word of God, must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Acts 16, 31. You're not good enough. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. <coughs> no, not one. You got a problem with your salvation when it is at odds with the scripture. People come up to us all the time, preacher, I'm good. The Bible says, no, you're not. Have you never read and studied the Bible? You don't know what good is. 
Because your good is not my good, it's not his good, it's not her good, and your good is probably no good to someone else. I know a lot of prisoners in prison that their good is not your good. So you say you want to fight. The rich has a good and the poor have a good. The Democrats have a good, the Republicans have a good. I have some, but small ones. But goodness must be matched to the King James Bible of what God says is good. And the Bible says that there's only one good. And that good is the righteous and holy Jesus Christ without sin, without spot. That's the good of God. <clears throat> you are to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That's what gets you to heaven. There are good people in hell. Wouldn't it be terrible for you, Mr. Good or Mrs. Good, to end up in a place where there are no good? Wouldn't you just love the company of being with no good people when you're good in the flames of hell forever? That's an odd combination. There are good people, and they are in hell today. Because good can't get you out of hell. You're not good enough. And you'll never be good enough. You probably won't hear that out of most of the pulpits in America in the world today. When it comes to be appearing before God, you're no good. <clears throat> Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. You know what God said? God says you're a sinner. Get away from me. You don't want to be a sinner anymore? Behold the Lamb of God. Which take away the sin of the world. You can be washed if you sin. <clears throat> but we're all sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. You ain't righteous now. You are unholy, you are unrighteous. You are a sinner. If you told one lie, you're a sinner condemned to hell. You mistreated your parents once. You are a sinner and you are condemned to hell. If you've taken anything that is not yours without permission, you are a sinner and the condemnation is you will go to hell. You can be a very good sinner. That's what you can do. Well, preacher, I'm good. Yeah, you're good at sinning. But, when the Bible says there's none that doeth good, that means you. We are sinners, and the wages of sin is death. That's why you die. Now you may die of cancer, you may die of natural causes, you may die of stupidity, you may die in an automobile accident, wherever. But the main cause of death is because we are sinners. And when we die, the Bible says that there is an afterlife, and there's only two. There's heaven by Jesus Christ, and hell by anything else but Jesus you don't soul sleep, you don't go into purgatory, you go to heaven but Jesus, or you go to hell, everything but Jesus. <clears throat> heaven or hell, maybe, uh, it's, that's the afterlife. We don't come back as zombies. The Christian goes up.
from the grave. As Jesus came up out of the grave, up out of the grave he arose, victorious over his foes. And Jesus is the one that has the keys to death in hell. Your church does not have those keys. Peter doesn't have those keys. Jesus does. The keys of Peter were to the Jewish people, Acts chapter 2, and to the Gentiles, Cornelius. I believe Acts chapter 10. I'm not sure about that one. Those were the keys of Peter. But the keys of your freight to go to hell or heaven lies upon the one Jesus that said, Jesus said, I am the way. There you go. There's no other way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus said, No man cometh unto the Father, Almighty God, Jehovah, how dare you think that you're good enough to bypass what Jesus said? How dare you lift yourself up higher than Jesus? And yes, you are. When you count on your works, you're saying, Jesus, what you've done and suffered on that cross, according to Scripture. And when they buried you, and when you arose from that grave, according to the Scriptures, me being a good person is much better than the holy, righteous God, Jesus. Really? You know what Jesus will say to you? Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's what he'll tell you, and how good you are. To him is how great thou art, to Jesus and to God, not to man. Jesus Christ, 100% man, 100% God. You, me, 100% sinner. Now I'm saved by the grace of God, and I still sin poorly. But if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's me and that's you. That's your Pope, that's your priest, that's your preacher, that's your whoever you listen to. The Bible says ye must be born again. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus, which take away the sin of the world. No man in a confessional can take care of your sins, because he is a sinner too. The Pope is a sinner. Where does he go? A minor priest? I'll tell you where the Pope goes without Jesus. He goes to hell. I'll tell you where the priests go without Jesus. They go to hell. I'll tell you where the preachers go without Jesus. They go to hell. There are preachers, pastors, popes, and priests in hell today because they have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you're definitely not going to get a message out of this out of the majority of the churches and the pulpits. Just because a man or a woman is in the pulpit doesn't mean they're going to heaven. As a matter of fact, the Bible says women are not to preach. Tell Joyce Myers to shut up and study her Bible because she ought to be doing what she's doing according to the scriptures. And I and myself have been deleted from Joyce Myers' website because we called the question about her teaching and preaching. She can't handle the truth. And neither many of the people that we preach to here on the streets, and the Bible says, broad is the way that leads to destruction. We do not expect the majority of the people in Daytona Beach to be saved. The Bible says they won't. The Bible says straight is the gate that leads to life and the few that go therein. 
The Bible also says, go into all the world and preach the gospel. We don't preach a denomination. We preach Jesus. Let's get you saved before we get you in church. Let's get you to believe in God and be washed of your sins first. Let's get you to get your name in the Lamb's Book of Life that you can get to heaven. And the only way you can get in the Lamb's Book of Life is through the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. That's what the Bible says, folks. Yeah, I know somebody preaches on the Word because they want your money. Listen, listen the love of money is the root of all evil. Even that verse is misquoted. Most of the churches out there, people, they want your money. That's that's the sorry fact. You got you got people out there in churches that they don't even have three services anymore. They got one, and you still give them the same amount of money. You know, if you're a employer, if you went to your job and only showed up once a week. You would not be in that job any further. <laughs> There's a man that went to the Apostle Paul and said, What must I do to be saved? And the answer is, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. You didn't hear Paul say, oh, bring him to church. He says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now listen, I go to church. I'm a born-again, Bible-believing Christian. I am saved and washed in the blood of Jesus. I go to church not for salvation. I go to church to grow as a Christian. And I testify, my church attendance will not get me to heaven. Jesus Christ did that on April 21st, 1987, when I was born again and asked Jesus to save my soul. I became a saved sinner. It's the precious blood of Jesus Christ without spot. You know, when you look at this precious fruit and vegetables, it came from a farmer, but it came from God first. And I bet most of the people will not thank God for what's out here. You know, the hospitals are because of what you're looking at and buying here today. The police station is built upon what my eyes see. You say, preacher, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Adam and Eve. Yes, I believe in Adam and Eve. It's a lot better than nothing, and here we are by a big bang. No, the big bang happens later, Peter tells us. Peter says that the world go into Big Bang later. It wasn't made by a Big Bang. It was made by a Creator, God the Father, and Jesus Christ. So Adam and Eve are in the garden. And God gave Adam a commandment. He says, Adam, every fruit and vegetable, and I'm not quoting the scripture, I'm, I'm telling the story. Every fruit and, and vegetable you can have in that garden, but one. You are not to eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of, of, of evil, of knowledge of good and evil. And no, we don't know if it was an apple. The Bible don't tell us. So. God told Adam not to eat of that fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And guess what Adam did? Adam ate. And you became a sinner. 
because of Adam's disobedience, you have to have a preacher preach to you of the salvation of Jesus Christ. So if you don't want to hear preaching, yell at Adam. Because Adam disobeyed God. And there came fruit of sin. Now let me tell you about you, Christian, 2020. You in 2020, you are disobeying God. I don't want to stay here all day long. When you have disobeyed God, when the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And when you believe in religion and not Jesus, you disobey God. When you proclaim, Oh, I'm an atheist, you have disobeyed God, Adam. I'm agnostic. I don't know. You have disobeyed God, Adam. I go to church. You have disobeyed God, Adam. I was baptized. You have disobeyed God, Adam. Adam, God said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, period. The whole story of Jesus is because he suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. But you're good. You go to church. You keep the Ten Commandments and you can't name all ten of them. You are so wonderful. You are an American standing before God. And the Bible, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. In other words, in modern terms, you will have Jesus Christ proclaim to you, go to hell for not believing me. And you don't want God to tell you to go to hell. Because he has the power and the authority to do it. What else is there? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord, there's that gift. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's all in the Son. You need the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse you. There's nothing that can wash away your sins but the blood of Jesus. There is nothing that will save you except the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are without hope. Without Jesus, for the Bible says Jesus is the blessed hope. And you cannot get to heaven outside of Jesus Christ when Jesus said, I am the way. And there's no access to the Father but by me. Religion damns. Jesus saved. 
Religion is man-made by the devil, and Jesus Christ is God-approved. And you must put your faith and your trust in the finished work of Jesus alone. Because without Jesus, life will be hell. Life ain't hell now. Feel this nice breeze? There's no breeze in hell. There's no water in hell. There's no partying in hell. Your friends won't care about you in hell. The Bible speaks about hell being in torment. And Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 19 verse 10 said, And the Son of Man has come to save and to seek that which is lost. Your loss come to Jesus to be found. Without Jesus, your life is most miserable. Because you have a hopeless end. And with Jesus, your life may be miserable, but you will have the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, patience. And in miserableness, if you're saved, you can still have the peace of God, and I know that personally. You can have, through the scriptures, the satisfaction of knowing when you die where you will go. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. Salvation is set only in the name and the work of Jesus. And there is nothing else. There is no one else. And God doesn't care what you think and what you believe. He never asked you. The, see, the Bible says before the foundations of the world, it was settled that Jesus will be the one for our sins. And you were not around from the foundation of the world. The Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It didn't say a church. It didn't say doing good. It didn't say getting baptized. It says believe upon Jesus Christ and you will get salvation. I want to be saved. And without, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, sir. That's what you have to do. And without Jesus. And it's free. You don't have to pay one dollar. Amen. Here you have to pay me a dollar. Give Johnny your money and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for free. You can be saved. It's glory to God in the height, not you. Christians go to New Jerusalem, they don't go to America. And you're not going to get this country right without God, Jesus Christ, in the Bible. And you're not going to have God, Jesus Christ, in the Bible. The kingdom of God is free, guys. Believe in the Lord. Jesus Christ. I start the same thing, too. But don't be mad at me. Death is coming for you. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die. And once you die, you can't change your mind. And you don't come back. Life is not a video game. Well, boop, 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 life over. Press the button, restart. That doesn't happen. That's a video game. This is life. Life is not a game. And when you die without Jesus Christ, you go to hell. I don't care your preacher doesn't like hell. I don't care your preacher doesn't preach hell. I don't care if he calls it CeeLo. 
or, ha or Hades. It's hell, and Jesus preached against it. That you might not go to hell. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. From what? Hell. You need more hell in the pulpit. The problem with the church is they got hell out of the pulpits. People in churches today rather pack a gun than the Bible. Ooh, that hurt. Mm. The words of life is the Lord Jesus Christ and the King James Bible. Are they one and the same? Very close to it. Salvation is so simple, anybody can do it. You can get your name written in the reservations to go to heaven in the last book of life. If you're to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And when you die in Christ, the Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. And when you get to heaven, you get there by Jesus. You don't get to heaven by anything else. Jesus Christ is your life insurance policy to get to heaven. Ever wonder why they call it life insurance is when you die? Why is that? When you die, you get life No, you don't get life insurance. Your family gets it. But when I get the life insurance by Jesus Christ, I get to go to heaven because Jesus paid the premium with his blood upon Calvary's cross. Your sins get you death insurance. Jesus Christ will get you life insurance. And the premium is his blood that was shed on Calvary's cross, according to the scriptures. Trust and obey in the finished work of Jesus. You know what you will be accredited to for all the things that you do? Whatever you do, how great you do it. You will hear Jesus say, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. That's what you get. You go to hell for by your works. And you go to heaven by the finished work of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. There is no access to God except by Jesus Christ. You remember? You stood in front of it. It's that plain and simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way. I go to church. That's not the way. I do good. That ain't the way. I flip beads. Beads don't go with you into hell. Mary can't save your soul. The Bible says there's one mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. Mary's not a man. Now you may get genders mixed up today. But God doesn't. 
God says our mediator in the book of Timothy is a man and Mary does not qualify. She is a female. Scripture with scripture, folks. The Catholic Church is lying to you. Baptist churches lie to you. And there's one liar. John 8, 44, it is the devil. He is the father of lies. And when a religion lies to you, their father is not God, but the devil. She's in a better place. I get so mad at her. Yelling at this picture. I'm like, oh, so you just left me here. You're up there. Forever. The word is settled in heaven. And John chapter 1 says that word is Jesus Christ. Salvation is wrought in Jesus for only Jesus saved. And it's sorry for many of you to hear this gospel and hear the preaching. Oh, I like the regular season. The regular and you will wake up in hell one day. Despite being preached to you out of the King James Bible. God's salvation is not what you do. It is in what Jesus Christ has done. God's salvation is not what you do. It is in what Jesus has done. And out of the Bible, the Bible says, Acts 16.31, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. People believe in all kinds of things, good and nonsense. But there's one belief that will get you to glory. And that belief is in the Lord Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. You have an eternal soul inside you. That means your soul, when your body dies, still lives. And the Bible says that that soul has a tongue. That soul has an eye. That soul can speak. That soul has fingertips. And without Jesus Christ, that soul will be in torment in hell for all eternity. You don't get out. You don't get re relief. You think you got pain today? Wait till you go to hell without Jesus. It'll be pain. And there'll be no relief. And no Catholic Church can save your soul. No Baptist Church can save your soul. No doing good can save your soul. And God don't take the credibility of being an American. There will be no Americans no, in New you. Jerusalem. Stop ruining these people's business. Oh, how brave we are. Drive by yelling. We're not disrupting his business. He's enjoying it. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hates you. That's what the scriptures say. Those were the words out of Jesus. So don't 
Don't think you're going to puzzle me because you hate me and you're going to yell at me. And the Bible says you're already going to do it, so I'm ready. And all you do is fulfill the Bible. Whether you act good or whether you act stupid, uh, you tell me the Bible's true. I've been preaching on the street for over 12 years. You're not going to surprise me. I've been standing for the Word of God, the same Jesus that I preached, the same salvation Jesus for over 12 years. And it doesn't cost you anything. It is absolutely free. You'd be a fool to... If we put a table out here with all kinds of fruits and vegetables said free, you would jump at it. If I had a table out here with hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, and, and big burgers, and I said they're free, you would run and tackle me to get a free hamburger. And when I promote to you the free salvation of Jesus Christ, the Bible says broad is the way that leads to destruction. That's why you're not coming. And the Bible already said that you would reject it because you're a sinner and you love your sin and you love to think how great you are. But the Bible says every knee shall bow and profess that Jesus is Lord. Do it now before you die. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ before you die. You'll believe after you die. And without that saving knowledge, you'll be cast into hell. See you there. <laughs> it ain't hate, it's love that we are here to tell you what God told you to do. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Marvel not if the world hates you out of the mouth of Jesus Christ himself. You, we are commanded by the Bible to go in all the world and preach the gospel. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. The, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God hell upon him. That's what the Bible says. And you are against the Bible because you want to think how great you are. And it ain't how great you are, it's how great Jesus is. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Listen, this same message has been preached since the apostles went out in Jerusalem and in Samaria and the outer parts of the world. These words were were preached by great men of the church. Period. Moody. Booth. Heil. And it's the same Jesus and the same words out of my mouth. Not that I'm great. I ain't great at all. Listen, if the bridge over here was out, and I didn't tell anybody that that bridge is out, and they went off and fell into the, the river and died, that's not love. But if I were to wave my hands, I would try to stop you from going over the bridge that's not there. That's love. I'm trying everything I can do to get you not to go to hell. That's love.
And and a man that does not tell you about hell doesn't love you at all. Especially if he comes out of the pulpit. He's he's there for the money. I ain't here for your money. I'm here for you to learn about Jesus and to be saved. And you know exactly what I'm saying, and it's in your heart. You can never tell God, I never knew. Because you know that Jesus saved. Now what you do with it, that's your business. The business God has for me, I've done what God told me. I have preached the gospel. I'll stand before God in the presence of Jesus Christ alone. How will you stand in the presence of God? Received or rejected? Your salvation, your going to heaven rests upon Jesus. It is you that hates God. So you better be careful because when Jesus met with Paul on the road, he said, Paul, why persecute thou me? Paul never persecuted Jesus. He persecuted Christians. And what you do to God's Christians, the children of God, Jesus Christ takes it very personal. Why not be a Christian? Be washed in the blood. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Or go on with your miserable life. Go on, continue rejecting the God. Let your, your booze and your alcohol and your cigarettes and let all that stuff comfort you while you pay for it. And when you run out of money, the breweries, the tobacco companies, will not give you free. What God offers free, His salvation, His peace, His love, His joy, through Jesus Christ alone. And you're, when you believe on Jesus, that doesn't end your suffering. But all oh, the fruits of the Spirit... The peace you can get in suffering. You got no peace. I know you have no peace. You're arguing with the preacher. You ain't got peace at all. I do. I enjoy when you yell. That, that's like, that gets me going even more. Because the Bible said you would yell. The Bible said you would reject. The Bible says marvel not if they hate you. Know that they hated me first. In your anger, your anger against God, not me. And I'm going to preach more that maybe we can get that anger out of you so that you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to have peace. And the more I preach Jesus, the more it gets in your heart and the more it irritates you because it's holy and true. Sometimes medical procedures are going to hurt to help you. Sometimes your heart's got to be angry to be right with God. Have you had it with life? Are you done with what this world cannot offer you? Come to Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Does your alcohol comfort you? It can't comfort like Jesus comforts.
Jesus doesn't give you a hangover. Jesus doesn't make you vomit. Jesus doesn't would not have you to waste your money. Jesus would have to set you free from your sin, which alcohol is one of them. Tobacco is another sin. Drugs are another sin. They bind you. They bind you. Jesus won't. Jesus said, take my yoke. And that's not a yoke of bondage. That's a, that's a, that's a, 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 where Christ gets in with you. And you can step out of that yoke anytime you want. Save your life. I knew in 2019 that would, did not know they were going to die. And there are many people who died in 2019. 2020 may be your year. The wages of sin is death. And whatever time your time is to die, if you do it without Jesus Christ, you go to hell. And if that time of death comes and you die in Jesus, the Bible says, hate literature, that be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Where is the hate in that? You can have eternal blessfulness. You can have eternal mercy. You can have eternal grace by Jesus Christ. That don't sound like hate. Oh, preacher, I wish you shut up. Preacher, I wish you go. That's hate. I mean, we got rights in America. I have the right to do what I'm doing. I got the Supreme Court documents in my car to show what I am doing right now. I would do it without the Supreme Court. As much as the world disturbs me, let me disturb the world with Jesus. The world would have you to, uh, you know, the, the grab a, a bottle of soda for peace in the world. I have you grab the blood of Jesus Christ to get the peace in the world. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away your sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Have you been to Calvary for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus? Hey, Carla, you have one basket over there? No, we don't have that over here. No, we don't have that over here. Amazing grace that set this sinner free. Joy to my soul, Christ Jesus saved my soul. April 21st, 1987, I became a born-again, Bible-believing Christian when I asked Jesus Christ to save my soul, to wash me of my sins. My name was written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Holy Spirit took residence in my heart. My name was written down in the Lamb's Book of Life, and I know when I die, I will be absent from this body and present with the Lord. Unless the rapture happens first. Death or rapture, I'm going by Jesus. Where are you going when you die? 
Are you assured of where you're going? Oh, no, no, it's not you hope so. I hope to go there. No, you can know. These things that you may know you have eternal life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. They hate me today. Glory to God in the highest, not glory to you. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. You ain't got no blood, you ain't got salvation. You ain't got Jesus, you're going to hell. Hell, hell. Yeah, you better believe there's a hell. The Bible speaks about it. Jesus speaks about hell. Hell was made for the devil and his angel. And you don't have to go. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be. Don't go to hell. Only Jesus saved you. That was the words when we first started this family ministry. Don't go to hell. Only Jesus saves. I haven't said that in a long time. The world will tell you to go to hell. We tell you not to go to hell. And how not to go to hell is by believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. To be saved. And we repeat the same words. Repeat the same word. So that in your heart you hear the same words. Only Jesus saves. I am a child of God through Jesus. Nothing else. I am saved by the blood. I have been to the cleansing flood. I have been washed in the blood of Jesus. I'm washed. I'm saved. I know. Yes, I know. Catholic can't get you nothing. That's a religion. Jesus said, I am the way. Don't eat Jesus. That's cannibalism. There are Catholics in hell. There's no hope in the Pope. Only a dope would believe in the Pope. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. If you don't believe him, you'll go straight below hell. You can't get to heaven with the worldly leaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt save. Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? That's simple. Today, you can get your name written in the heavenly reservation book called the Lamb's Book of Life by you believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. You can have the cleansing power by being washed in the blood of Jesus. Come to Calvary. Get on your knees and repent and believe. Don't walk away from Calvary as an unbeliever. It ain't safe. It ain't right. It's hopeless to walk away from Calvary without salvation. 
life begins upon a tree, and that life begins upon Calvary, where Jesus suffered and died according to the Scriptures. And He was buried. And He arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. You can be saved today. Start the new year right. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Step out of religion. Step out of good works. And take a stand in Jesus. Jesus said ye must be born again. Do it on this new year. Your soul depends upon it. You will be condemned for rejecting Jesus and His Word. You are without hope unless you receive the blessed hope, Jesus Christ. Salvation has been set in blood by the rock of Israel. Death is coming. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die. You ain't going to beat it. And you will not get to heaven without Jesus, and you ain't going to beat that either. And you can't say, oh, I never knew God. You know, because God has sent a loudmouth preacher in Daytona Beach, Florida, to proclaim to you that only Jesus saves. And you may want me to shut up, but the Bible says, the Bible, Romans chapter 10, God says, oh, I love them feet that carry the good tidings that my son, Jesus, saved. God will shut you up one day. Without Jesus Christ, He catches you off into the lake of fire. But before then, you will have to proclaim that Jesus is the Lord. Do it now. Evolution just happened again. The Big Bang. Evolution. New plan. <laughs> See? The God that created you, you suffered and died according to the scriptures for you and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. And let me tell you, it's not called Christmas and it's not called Easter. Those are pagan holidays. It's called Jesus' birthday. No. Tammuz. Jesus' birthday. Probably about September. Feast of Tabernacles, probably. But not Christmas. But Jesus was born. He was born in Bethlehem. And he suffered and died on that tree according to the scriptures. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scriptures. You must be born again. And to be born again is to receive Jesus Christ by faith. Without Jesus, it is hell. It ain't hell now. You'll get far worse. 
There is no life without Jesus. The Bible just describes hell as torment. Now I'll tell you what that word is in the Greek. Torment. That's exactly how hell is described. By a man that was in hell and is not coming out of hell. The rich man. And he doesn't even have a name. You get no more name in hell. But in glory we get a brand new name. Come on, come on. You gotta get stuck like an upstream. Your name written out of the Lamb's Book of Life will get you into glory. What's it do, dude? Hell does not exist in the Bible. Jesus said hell was made for the devil's angels, sir. Read and study your Bible. How dare you go to a little girl? Come to me. Whip. Whip. Be, be bold and preach Jesus. Be bold the gospel. Jesus saved. Whip's got to go up to a girl and put up his fight. Can't put up to the preacher. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Truly goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For I have believed on the Lord Jesus. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. How you doing? What are you going to do on your deathbed? When you can't have your alcohol, the hospital won't let you smoke. How are you going to do on your deathbed with your God, forsaken by God? How are you going to do? When you see that doorway of hell opening up, how are you going to do on your deathbed? Because you have chosen to reject Jesus, and Jesus will reject you. Be not deceived, God's not marked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. Reject Jesus, and he'll reject you. He says if you deny him, he'll deny you. When you appear before God the Father, He says, what about this soul? Father, that soul rejected the preaching. Reject Him. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. That's Bible. That don't come from the Fruity Tootie Bible. That comes from the King James Bible. Fruity Tooty sugar coated Bibles with a little prize in each package. Now, that ain't the Bible of God. The Bible says, Be saved or be damned. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The love of God is, He said, Jesus. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Tell your preacher to get some hell in his pulpit. Tell the preacher to get some wrath in that pulpit to be saved. That stadium echoing Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Anything else won't get you to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus, I'm a Baptist. Did you believe on Jesus? No. Then don't come before me. Depart from me. Ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you.
Jesus, I was baptized in the ocean. Depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. It's not your name on a baptism, it's not your name on a church roll, it's your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life that will save your soul. And to get there, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. For I have set my faith in Jesus Christ alone. No Jesus, no life. No life, hell. Hell. He's mentioning hell. Give me the blue pill quick. Going to heaven rests only upon your belief in Jesus Christ. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood? Not water, not attendance, in the blood. Peter says it's precious blood, it's sinless blood. No man's blood is able because his blood is sinner's blood. You need a pure, undefiled blood, and that is in Jesus alone. It's okay, I believe in Jesus. Amen. I go to church. You can know today your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life that you're going to go to heaven when you die by the faith and belief in Jesus alone. Nothing else satisfies God but by Jesus. Come on, step on out. Step out today on the, on the 4th of January. Get your independence on, on January 4th from sin and the devil by putting your faith in Jesus today. Your independence could be on January 4th. We will take a Bible. It will go up somewhere where, where no one can, can see you. And we'll show you the biblical way and how to be saved and know it. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There's no hope without Jesus. There is no life without Jesus. It is hell without Jesus.